Now at 11, hundreds of congregants are breaking away from the United Methodist Church due to disagreements over the roles of the LGBTQ plus community. A local pastor of a UMC church says he has never seen this many leave in his 15 years of preaching. Teresa Bowles joining us now live in Chambly tonight. And Teresa, how many congregations are we talking about here? Well, just to give you an idea of how great that number is, the North Georgia Conference says it's made up of about 700 churches. This accounts for 38% of those congregations, so it's a historic moment indeed. 261 Georgia churches cutting ties. It's the biggest one I've seen that has caused so much controversy, but churches will split over social issues. The issues boil down to allowing LGBTQ plus clergy and same sex marriage. A few days ago, more conservative churches were allowed to leave the United Methodist Church due to what they believe is its failure to uphold that homosexuality is incompatible with Christian teaching. These churches went through that process and felt like those anti anticipated changes do not fully represent their values. Jordan Thrasher is the senior pastor of Embry Hills UMC in DeKalb County. The churches are expected to follow the book of discipline on homosexuality. However, some churches feel leaders are not enforcing bans. Thrasher's church is no stranger to taking a stand as it's one of the first reconciling UMC churches in the state, which means an activist uh, organization within the United Methodist Church that focuses on LGBTQIA plus issues and welcoming in the church. Making Embry Hills one of over 400 North Georgia Conference churches that chose to stay. Anytime that there's advancement, there's rough edges around it. Lacey Looney is the outreach director with Renovis, a community for LGBTQ plus Christians. Board of Directors President Cortland Russell hopes the news invites more queer identified believers to attend as the community tends to associate trauma with the church. This is not the first uh, denomination to go through this and this will not be the last. We would just hope that churches choose love. We feel like that's what Jesus chose. The NGC tells me that the churches that have disaffiliated have until the end of December to fulfill their obligations, and that includes financial obligations. However, there are some churches that are to welcome displaced UMC members, and Embry Hills is one of them.